So this is my Rusty Nail cocktail sculpture. Cocktails and dreams. And I did mention in another video that it had caused me some technical problems doing this particular sculpture. So I just wanted to fill you in on what I actually meant by that. So the idea of a Rusty Nail cocktail uh, just seemed like a, a, a great piece of pop art to me. Uh, the concept was there rattling around in my head for, uh, oh gosh, about a year. And it's a, it's a, it was very tough technically to work out. So we started, or I started with the uh, Reagan's Head Majestic Tumbler, UK glass manufacturer. Yeah, it is glass and I had to learn how to cut a piece of glass in half and that basically entailed a suction cup clamp holding the glass under a steady stream of water in the studio sink whilst I tried not to electrocute myself with a Dremel and a diamond tipped cutting blade on it and when you see the amount of water and glass dust that just covered the studio kitchen. I mean, I think it took me longer to clean all of that off the walls and the ceilings and the work surfaces than actually cutting through the glass. Now, it, it did take me some time to get it right, but I ended up with four glass halves, which was enough to make four sculptures. And that's where I started. Now, my design for Cocktails and Dreams I'd, I'd never actually sort of uh, designed specifically for a vinyl cutter or, or anything else and it had to be an AI file so I did that and took it to the um, printers where they fixed the vinyl onto the uh, four LED panels for me and when I got it back I just wasn't happy the, the cutter hadn't quite cut it accurately partly my fault because of the my ineptitude with drawing it specifically for a, a cutter plotter so I redrew it all I went back to the drawing board with that and came up with the idea of laser cutting a very thin sheet of metal uh, which a pal of mine in Ilkley did for me with his uh, laser etcher he, he, I, I redid the drawing in AI got it much better this time perfect and he cut it out and that worked that the light did not shine through. We, we only had the light where I wanted it, in the other words. I then had to work with clear class acrylic resin, which I've done before, but I'd never tried to colour it. So I, uh, it was a little bit like painting again. I had to sort of colour match. Um, Drambuian whiskey goes into a rusty nail. So hopefully I've got a colour match there that, that looks pretty realistic. And... I had to make sure that the acrylic didn't run out of any crevices that weren't glued down to the polypropylene backing. And I thought I'd got it perfect, so I did all four. And in the morning I came back and all the resin had run out um, off the glasses and I had to redo it all. So this is, uh, there was a lot of work and effort to get to this point, but I'm so pleased that I persevered and went on. In fact, I finally finished and they were set on Friday and we left for Budapest on Tuesday. So there you go. But I hope you like them. You can't just buy them. You can't just order them off me. They are only available at art fairs. So they are quite collectible and hard to get hold of. And this is the third in the pop art series. So we have the popcorn, the pop art one. And of course we have the uh, Mac Levine series, uh, those at the top there, that's 22 karat gold, that's 22 karat gold pop art, and that's stainless steel there. Okay, cheers now.